just simply go to a shop and double click your items. I have 16 silver already. Up to, up to, up to, up to. I'm a shiny little halfling. You're back. Good. I have some more work for you if you're interested. I've gotten a report about some disturbances in the vaults beneath the Hall of Justice. The guards are spread thin after the last attack, but you've proven yourself more than capable. So I'd like to ask you to look into it for me. I've told the gate guards you're coming. They'll let you into the vault. You got it. I'm an adventurer. I seek adventure. Even if it is in someone's basement. Look at this line of NPCs. All here to meet that guy standing in front of the important looking chair, I imagine. Yes, it's a little skippy right here. Protectors Enclave, like I said, is the hub world. And Neverwinter likes to eat a lot of computer power. The fact that I'm recording at the same time is not helping it any. You're the one Sergeant Knox sent to investigate. Well, I'm glad you're here. We've heard some strange noises from the vault. One of the other guards went to check on it, but he should have been back by now. I have to guard the entrance, but I'll let you through. Find the source of those noises and look for Quartermaster Otis. He'll know what's happening. Gotcha. Got something on my screen there. There we go. Now, oh, let's see here. Hello! Good night. <laughs> Hello again! There we go. Having trouble hitting him. Now my, as you can see, my one ability is recharged. So, I can use it again. While they are pretty good to save the big bad boss, you can refill them pretty easily. So, don't hoard them. Ah, that's a gathering spot. That one requires a thievery skill, which only trickster rogues have. Every style of class has a skill. There's the Thievery for the trickster rogues, like I said. There's the religion for the devoted cleric and the oath-bound paladin. There's the arcana for the control wizard and scourge warlock. Nature for the hunter ranger and dungeoneering for the great weapon and guardian fighters. So, you'll always have one gathering. Oh. This treasure chest will always have this. Your basic kits. It includes a nature kit, which you can use right away. Kits let you access notes for skills you don't have. They don't always work. That nature kit I used had a 75% chance of working. Whereas, see, I actually have dungeoneering skills, so I won't use that kit. I can just sell it later. So I can access all dungeoneering notes without fail. I get this lined up right. Aha! I think not. Aha, my shit is stronger than yours. Aha! Probably hit the caps lock there a few times. I've taken some damage, so I'm just gonna push five there. Gulp down a potion. If you use a potion in combat, you'll get a bit of a cooldown. So, if possible, use potions out of combat. Charge! Ha! Let's see, what do we got here? We got some lots of potions and another dungeoneering kit that I will never need. Oh well. I could sell it for money. Never anything wrong. Ah! Making money. 
Go ahead, shoot. I'm kind of liking this shield. My other character is a devoted cleric, so he's also pretty good on the not taking damage department. But that's mostly because he just simply heals all the damage he takes. Right and charge! As you can see, whenever they're about to project a particularly powerful attack, there is the good old ring red that uh, ring red red ring of doom destruction, chaos, mayhem, all that fun stuff. There's an arcana node. You generally, unless you have a class that can block, you generally want to get out of the Red Ring of Doom. This is another religion spot. This is not their gathering node. This is a little spot where you can pray at an altar and get a little buff. So if you want that little buff, it makes a good sense to get religion kits. Which you can buy. You don't have to rely on loot to get. The Nasher snuck into the vault during ugly. Valindra's attack on the city. They're here to steal the crown of Neverwinter. They almost got to it, but then they angered the dead resting in the lower vaults. They're fighting each other down there right now. I sealed them in behind the hidden entrance to the lower vaults. There's a secret switch in the bookcase on the back wall. Stop the Nashers before they get the crown. I'll do that, but I want to know is. Why doesn't Lord, what was it, Neverember? Why doesn't Lord What's-His-Face have the crown on his head? Why is he keeping it in the basement? There's a rest spot right there, but I know there's a good little two-way fight. Hoya! So I'm going to take advantage of the mass, mayhem, mass mayhem and the fact that I can just cut everything in front of me. While well, they're all nicely grouped up like that. And kill everything. My loot. It may not look like much, but it will get me money. And let's see, we'll come over here. Boop. Top off my health. And if I happen to die, that's my respawn point. I'm not playing my cleric, so I just won't survive through sheer healing ability. We'll see how well this works. But it's fun right now, and that's the point that really matters. I chose a good thing. It's silly. But powerful. I mean, look at that. Was that not a thing of beauty? Pretty sure even my great weapon fighter I had way back when couldn't do things like that. Oh yeah! Slice, dice, smash, bash, all that fun stuff. There's another dungeoneering spot. Since I don't need to use my kit. Now these little nodes, as far as I'm aware, they are static in dungeons. You'll always find a node in the same spot in a dungeon. But eventually you'll get to travel out in other little map-like areas. They are more random. Oh yeah! Not. Keep up you. Not. Certainly is a lot more uh, static combat style. My devoted cleric, I have to push shift to use a quick little slide out of combat. I'm zipping around, camera angles going, Aah! so it's kind of nice to you know fight something and just fight it. Oh yeah! I knew I saw something fall behind me. Gotta get my loot! Skeleton slaughter! Slice! Dice! Slice! See any other loot? Nope. And charge! 
skeleton archer popping up right behind me. Get down from there. Fine, I'll come in and say hello to you. You can jump in this game, as they explained earlier. See, that's a religion uh, gathering node. It's nothing too drastic. Like, uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online actually had the jump skill. So you could jump really high. You can actually grab a hold of things, too. Another Dungeoneering kit. I do not need Dungeoneering kits. Give me, like, thievery kits or nature kits or something. Religion kits. I'll take religion kits. some damage, but I know I'm near a rest spot, so I won't bother recovering it from potion. Charge! Smash! Now, I know somebody's gonna try to sneak up from the other side. They did that to my cleric. Or not. Ah, there you are. You're confused. You're re-dead now. They're already dead in the first place. I just made him deader. And we'll stop the top off. Ah, nice stop. Okay, moving on. These dead bodies are not my fault. I had nothing to do with them. Oh, Shia. Hurry and get the crown! The Guardian is waking up! Hiya, ugly! Glory red eyes. Glory red eyes is always bad. Oh, portal scroll. That's how they get out. I just noticed that for the first time. All right, ugly. Charge! I think not. Aha! Nope. Nope. Oh yeah? Booyah! Nope. Nope. Simple, straightforward fight. I like that. All the other fights I've had are so zippy and confusing and a little nauseating. I mean, yes, I traded some damage, but I traded a lot less damage than I would have on pretty much any other class but the Oathbound Paladin. Because all classes have a secondary thing. I mentioned their primary. The Guardian Fighter here's secondary trait is Controller. So I can push things around, debuff them, stuff like that. Whereas the Oathbound Paladin's second thing is Leader. So he doesn't tank through... Ooh, pardon. Proper crowd control, stunning, stuff like that. He tanks by absorbing the damage and then healing it back up. Oh, I got a belt. There we go. We're wearing a belt now. I have five Dungeoneering kits. It's a little excessive. Hup to, hup to, hup to, hup to, hup to, hup to... And we're back out. Yes, it's a little skippy again. It thinks to take a little bit of loading. Like I said, Neverwinter is a surprisingly powerful game. Mind you, yes, my laptop is not top of the line. Now, I'll never have top of the line. Top of the line changes on a daily basis. But Neverwinter still eats the crap out of a computer. Protectors Enclave needs your help. Matters will blow to the vault so soon after Valindra's attack. Thanks for your help in defending the vault. Unfortunately, the Nashos got away with the crown of Neverwinter. 
The crown is a powerful symbol of rightful rule in this city. It must be found, for the Nashers can use it to start a rebellion. Oh, level five. The Nashers have stolen the crown of Neverwinter from the vault, but we still have a chance to recover it. We just need to catch the two thieves who escaped and trace where the Nashers are hiding the crown. We know that one of the thieves, a sly rogue called Honor Ray, uses a ruined building near the Driftwood Tavern as their hideout. The Nashers will flee if they see me or my squad approach, but you might be able to corner her and find out if Honor still has the crown. Now, level 5 starts one of the most important things for a level. Well, yes, I've learned a new encounter power section. But most importantly, I've unlocked power points to spend. Before now, they've been spent on everything as I went. So now, I can actually choose to either upgrade something, like I can upgrade my charge, which will give me more range, or I can learn something new altogether. Let's see here. I don't need to worry about taunting right now. Ooh, recovers some guard power, though. However, I'm going to get this. I will get both of these eventually just to fill up my encounter power section. And I also got a free level up box. It comes with some nice goodies. Including some minor injury kits. Trust me, we probably need them. And some more bounce scrolls. Now, before I chase down Honor, there are a couple little, actually, three quests I will show to you along the way. It's just simple little things to get him out of the way. Greetings. Is there something you wish to discuss? This is a Dragonborn. No, they do not shout for Sroda. And I probably skipped that by way too fast, because it wasn't voice acting. Sorry, but you can always pause if you want to read it. Well met. Hello there. Are you interested in a battle of wits? I am apprenticed to a rather powerful and eccentric wizard. My master has hidden a number of scrying orbs throughout the Sword Coast. When activated, the orbs give the user a bird's eye view of the surrounding area. I have already located the orbs in Protector's Enclave, but I could use help locating the others. Please visit the orbs in Protector's Enclave to familiarize yourself with them. Keep your eyes peeled for any other orbs you may come across in your travels. He's talking about these glowy things. They give you cute little bird's eye views of stuff. You find them all in an area for achievements. There's three in each area. I haven't the foggiest idea where they all are. My cleric that I've mentioned a few times is only 25. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I I'm not a master of this game. And the much as I'm enjoying this little halfling, I will probably quickly catch up to my cleric and end up flying blind for a while. It, it's gonna happen. And I don't care. We got another little spot here. Everyone is a big city, people. Why do you have an information? There is spot? no time for small talk. Well, fine. I didn't want to talk to you either. But hey, let's go talk to the Lord Never What's His Name guy. Hey, Lord, what's your face? Why aren't you wearing the crown? Well, fun. I didn't want to talk to him anyways. I'm going this time. Yeah, I'm being a little silly. What? Well met, Hero of Neverwinter. If you have a problem with silly, you are on ah, the wrong the hero channel. Of Neverwinter has arrived. It is good to finally God, your meet face you. Is ugly. I look forward to fighting side by side with you against the cult of the dragon. I could pay to unlock the Dragonborn character, but I don't see myself ever playing him. Yes, I generally, I love to play a half-orc, or, you know, a dwarf. My devoted cleric is a dwarf. You know, I'm not stuck on the full-on pretty races. But, uh, man, that was ugly. Ugh. Even Argonian at least looked cool, but that's just ugly. Let's see, we're going down the stairs. Boop. I'm going to take a sharp turn this way. 
Don't mind me, people. Halfling in armor, coming through. 